Okay, kitties. I have this thing, which looks like the Madonna cones from back in the day when she did those weird videos. And it's a bubble bar. It's a bubble balloon. Bubble bar, bubble bar on the other side. And some moisturizing cocoa butter in the center. Let's turn the faucet on and let's go ahead and see how many bubbles we can get. You like that, don't you? <laughs> Alrighty. Well, all the gold glitter is off it, but it did make the water pretty gold. Seems to be breaking down nicely. It, it is a Lush product. I do love the way Lush's um, bombs break down. Not bombs, uh, bubble bars. It's early in the morning right now. This is what I'm, it's like a morning bath for me. And it's really like, I'm not even awake yet. I only had like a quarter of a cup of coffee. I wanted to get in the tub and relax a little bit. It's a cold morning, so like everything in my body hurts. <laughs> All right, one half down the drain. Let's see if we can get the rest of my Madonna cone done. Whatever these little melts are in here now, they're not as mushy as they once were. So they're using, I think they're using a different formula. Which I believe this was a vegan product. So no animals were harmed in the making of these Madonna cones. I don't remember the name of them, nor do I care for the name of them because the smell is not really up my alley. It's not really like 100% something that I would buy over and over and over again. It's a different type of fragrance. Like, you know, I recognize it, but I don't recognize it. You know what I mean? Like, I know the smell. I just can't put my finger on which older product it reminds me of. So I'm going to have to go check Lush a lot, April, her, uh, her blog out and see what she wrote about it. And then maybe I'll figure out what in the world it is. Okay. Because I don't recognize that fragrance. Here's the watercolor. It is like a yellow. It does have some... Hello, bubbles. <laughs> it does have some sparkle through it. It is very beautiful. And we're just going to let it build up. I didn't warn you guys to pull your earbuds out or anything. I'm so sorry. Like I said, it's early. The coffee hasn't kicked in yet. I'm feeling it. <laughs> pretty soon, you know, maybe everything will start snapping back into play once my brain realizes that caffeine's coming. I only had a few sips. I need more. Definitely need more coffee in my life. Oh, and then later on, I have something really cute to do for you guys. A friend of mine went out and bought a bunch of, which I just touched the front of and ruined the sticker, <laughs> uh, and bought, I think there was six of these in a bag. And she bought them, and I purchased them off her because they were too cool not to. They're Juicy Couture bath bombs. They were too cool not to not to buy off her. So I was like, I'll buy them from you. There's the back of it. Wow, our bubbles are really growing. But I have this to show you later on. Maybe, maybe for tomorrow's bath. We'll use that one because this bubble bath is very moisturizing right now. I'd give it a complete 10 on moisture. It feels good. It, it actually smells pretty good. It smells fresh. Um, but I don't like the dry smell of it. Also, oh my god, get your tea ready. You know how I enjoy Jeffree Star makeup products? I mean, I don't know. If you don't like the person, then who cares? But this is about the makeup. Now, I love the Jeffree Star makeup products. Love oh, them. Absolutely love them. Let me turn this up a cooler. Because I'm burning my tootsies off here. I uh, absolutely love the products. Wow, it's coming up nice and high now. Lots of bubbles we got going here. He is uh, releasing Blue Blood. It is a basically blue palette. Like, you know, a lot of blue colors, a lot of cool tone colors. Uh, just like the um, uh, Blood Sugar palette, which is a lot of reds and purples and some oranges. Yeah, now we're getting the Blue Blood palette, but the packaging that it comes in, the box of the palette, is absolutely, did I cut my, no, that's not a cut of my finger, I thought I cut my finger, it is actually like a, it looks like a little jewelry box, it's beautiful, 
So eventually, when you're done with all the makeup, you can just, you know, somehow cut out the where the makeup part was and have a jewelry box. But I don't know. I, I asked my husband if he would make me a box like that. It's really, really beautiful. And the blue uh, clasp on it and everything, it looks really cool. Plus, he's coming out with um, liquid uh, illuminators for the face, you know, highlighters. And one of the names that I remembered was Blue Bolts. He named one Blue Bolts. Funny as hell. I, I just, I started giggling up a storm listening to that. I was like, oh my god, really? Really? You named it Blue Bolts? <laughs> the man is the same. Um, uh, and he also has a mini lipstick bluish set coming out with the um, uh, Drug Lord color also in it. So you can take any of the blue shades mix it in with a little bit of the white drug lord lippy and you know and make it a lighter color if it's too dark for you or you can mix any of you can mix any of his lipsticks together and create your own color but basically that's what uh, drug lord is used for and they could also be used as like a liquid eyeliner on the top of the eye and i know a lot of people use drug lord as a liquid eyeliner a white liner on the top of the eye there or they put it down to white base and then put their makeup over it once it dries down so all his lipsticks could be used as eyeshadows or, you know, anything like that. Plus that blue blood eyeshadow. Oh man, those colors are beautiful. It's right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is type in blue blood Jeffree Star and he swatches all the colors, shows you everything, and it looks like we're getting up there, fellas. And if you guys are ever wondering what I get with my jungle conditioner, it is now in here. My jungle conditioner is in my old Skin So Soft container that was completely empty and washed out. And it squirts out just like regular conditioner. And that's because I let it sit in some water for a while. I'm going to be scrubbing with some OD Creamy Dreaming. And uh, I'm going to wash my hair with regular product today. And see if it makes a difference from those new hair shampoo uh, blocks marshmallows, whatever you want to call them, um, which actually they're not that soft as they were when I first got them, so now it's much easier to use them. They've now hardened up a little bit, I guess they have to be in the air a little. Look at this, we're all bubbles. All bubbles! But uh, they're actually a lot easier to use if you leave them out for like maybe a day and let the air kind of dry it. It doesn't leave, like, a smear of pink in your head, you know? Like, I would put it in my hair, and I'd have this long smear of felt like waxy pink stuff in my head. All right, let's go ahead and shut this off. Okay, so, we did get the big Hollywood bubbles. The big bubbles. Bubbles. Let's see if I can blow them away. <sighs> Not really. You guys can't even say it. <laughs> but we do have a very... Um, not so colorful water anymore. Like my color ran away, but it is sparkly and it is still pretty. Um, now that the tub is completely filled up, I'll say the moisture is down to about an eight. But this tub is filled up extremely high. It's about to overflow. That's why I'm like not really moving too much. But I have a heap of little bubbles up the back of my head now because they all went around the back of me and now they're creeping up my back and it's creepy. But it is beautiful, and it does, like, the smell is there. The scent is there. It is lingering. It's not like it's hiding, but see all those pretty glitters. And all their luster is, yes, again, biodegradable. It's made from seaweed. So, and I think they've always used a biodegradable glitter on their product. Like, and, you know, their own products like made from seaweed because I man years ago I learned that and I think it was always as soon as I opened Lush not their previous store I believe that it, it's always been like a uh, uh, the glitter base was always or the luster base was always the uh, their own you know it was colored dried seaweed or whatever you may want to call it but it, it stems from seaweed so it goes right back into the ocean. Now the pig, now the pigs, <laughs> now the fish just have uh, pretty seaweed, <laughs> you know. But uh, it's safe for the environment, apparently. I hope it is. I really do. I hope back in the day we don't learn that it's really the reason that all the fish are coming up and dying. <laughs> that it wasn't red tide. That it's 
actual Lush dust. But in all honesty, I don't see that happening. Lush is very, um, you know, for the people, for the animal, for the, you know, for the cause. That's what Lush is. And that's why I fell in love with Lush. Not only the product, but for what they stood for. Unfortunately, the product has taken a lax. And uh, I've gotten a lot of disappointments. So then I moved to indie brands. And my indie brands thus far, really, I haven't had many disappointments. I've had a few. But I haven't had many disappointments. You know, I got some really good companies. I got some really good CBD oil bath bomb companies. Um, horror beds. You got Twisted Allure Mad Bombers. Um, uh, the one in Canada, um, which I can't remember the name right now. I'm so sorry. Uh, she probably doesn't even watch the videos either. <laughs> uh, Finders Creepers. I think that's what it is because she has two names. Um, one is the name on Instagram, and then one is the company name, but it's Finders Creepers, I believe, is her uh, Instagram name. But, uh, anywho, that's about it. I mean, you know, this was a wham-bam bubble bath, you know? I'm gonna now sit back, relax, soak it all up, and uh, enjoy some nice hot bubble bath on my aching bones. Because I am still young, but I feel like I'm 90. So remember what I tell you guys, right now I'm going to shorten it up as I'm going to start doing from now on. If you want to hear the long version, go back about four videos. Um, treat people how you want to be treated, take care of each other, pay it forward, and trust your instincts. If your instinct is telling you something doesn't feel right or something's wrong, get the hell out of there and go the other way. Don't walk to the parking lot alone. In the evening, in the daytime, anywhere, ask somebody to walk with you if you feel uncomfortable. And in the evening, always ask somebody to walk with you. As your mother tells you, always wear clean underwear in case you get into a car accident. And ladies, I know it's the winter, but shave your legs in case you get into a car accident and they gotta cut your jeans off or something. You don't want them to have to say, whoa, where'd the teddy bear come from? Okay, so remember that one. <laughs> and if you don't shave your legs or your armpits, then you got nothing to worry about. But uh, for those of you who do, you never know. <laughs> I know it's the winter. I know a lot of ladies don't like to do it in the winter, but I'm one of those just in case people, so I gotta do it at all times, you know. So I always shave everything and make sure you go get some sugar scrubs and twist it all over. And use that before you shave to raise up all of your hair and you'll get a much cleaner, closer shave that way. Because these sugar scrubs will lift all the dead skin off, which will make your hair lift up. And then you'll get a, a close shave. Okay, I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please subscribe, turn on the notifications so you know when I put a video out. Sometimes I don't put them out till 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, but you'll know, you know. Uh, makeup tutorials are on their way, as well as um, new unboxings, uh, clothing, things like that. And yeah, that is about it. And uh, give me a thumbs up. I love you guys. Bye.